Hello, my name is Sister Rachel. I am a sister of St. Benedict in Fernand, Indiana. And today I'm going to show you how to make plastic mats out of plastic bags. Um, we are, this is a part of our service project for our Hope at the Dome Youth Rally. It's October 11th. Um, we'll have uh, many different service projects there, but this is one of them uh, for you to get started so, on. So, this project is actually very simple. You don't need a whole lot to do it. You'll need um, a crocheting needle. The bigger the better, and of course you need a plastic bag and scissors. So, you take just a regular old grocery bag, uh, I have two layered here, flattened out, and uh, to make our string, what we're going to do is we're just going to roll it up and get rid of all the stuff that will make it difficult for the string. So like, if you have a bag with a lot of holes in it, um, you can't really do much with that. So um, right now we're just making these into workable um, strings or thread. So you'll cut off the end just like that. And where the handles start, that's where you want to cut off the, the other end. So um, right about there. Toss that to the side. And then you'll cut um, maybe an inch and a half wide there. Now, the bags, they seem like it'll be a lot of, of thread or string, but it takes about a thousand bags to make a three and a half by six um, mat. So, and these mats are, uh, again, for the homeless um, as a part of our service project. And so we really want to make as many mats as we can. So the more you can get, the more you can do uh, before you come, the more we'll get done uh, when we have a bunch of people there working on them all together. So now that these are uh, set, you'll untangle them a little bit. And this is how we'll make our string. We'll have one and the other, right? And you'll twist them together like that, like so. And see how it you can make it. And some people, um, if you really want to make the, sh the thread singular, you can twist it and uh, start wrapping it. But um, it's not completely necessary. I'm going to do another one just so that you know you'll untangle it. And you overlap it and pull it through. Okay. And it's okay if it's not perfect, because uh, especially with these, the plastic takes care of the imperfections. Um, really, it's it's okay when it's not perfect. Okay, so now we have this really long string, right? Um, you really want to wrap them up into a ball. This is um, this is a pretty good size ball, um, but you can make them bigger. It just helps keep it organized um, and together for when you start really crocheting. So we'll move this to the side. To start off with a crochet, it's almost like tying a knot. You'll loop it, and you want kind of a longer tail when you loop it, and you'll pull that through. Okay? I don't really know. I know this is a uh, loose knot here because you can change how it goes, but. Um, or how big it is. And what you'll do is you'll thread your crochet needle. Make this a little smaller here. And you, you'll you find, once you get going, you will find a comfortable way to hold your string. Um, this is the most comfortable way for me. But basically this is called a daisy chain. And you'll hook the string on here and you pull it through. And you hook the string and pull it through, okay? So you just keep on and see how uh, twisting it would make it seem more uh, like one. See how I kind of got tangled up there, but... Um, and then once you get going on it, you can really fly. I'm an amateur, so I can't go super, super fast, but I can do a little bit. And once you get going, um, it's really nice to just sit and do it like when, while you're watching TV or while you're just sitting around with your friends or family um, to just kind of do when you're bored or whatever because you'll get addicted to it and you'll just keep going and going and going and before you know it you have um, a huge mat. So okay there's your first layer. Uh, I'm not going to do the entire three and a half foot 
but you'll want to make this uh, three and a half foot wide. So um, to make your second line across, what you'll do is, let me hold this down. You see this hole right here? That's where we're going to put um, thread your crochet needle. We're going to skip the one that's right next to it and we're going to put it in the second one. Okay, so we're going to thread that in and now you'll have two loops on your crochet needle and you'll hook the thread and pull it through both loops. Okay, you'll always have at least one um, thread wrapped around your crochet needle. And then you'll do the same thing for the very next hole. You'll push it through, grab your thread, pull that through once, twice, and you just keep going with it, okay? So you'll push it through, grab your thread, pull it through, ah, pull it through again. And again, it takes practice, as you can see, it takes a lot of practice. We will have professionals there at the youth rally uh, to do this. Uh, sisters who have been cr crocheting for ever, um, they'll be around to help you, so don't let this intimidate you. Um, it's really simple. It's really easy. It just takes practice and it takes time. But now you see, I mean, you see how there's uh, two layers there, and you just go and you just zigzag back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So um, that'll get you started. That's enough to get you started. Um, do as much as you can. If you can only come with a bag full of bags, that's fine. We can work with that. Uh, if you can only come with a bag full of string, that's fine too. Uh, or if you want to come with a big chunk of it done, that's fine. Wherever you are, um, we can use you. So I uh, can't wait to see you at the youth rally and um, good luck.